Now, I really appreciate your time. If you, you've watched it to the end, I appreciate. Now, we hope you have learned a few things. Uh, you've seen how we've drained the engine oil after preheating the, uh, you know, uh, the engine. And in this particular uh, generator, you realize that I was using a pump, a drain pump, okay? In most other generator, you would not use a drain pump. You would have to open, then oil will come out by gravity. But this one is a bigger engine, it's sometimes to finish everything, so you have a drain pump, okay? Then the other thing, we changed the oil filter. Then there is one thing that you've noticed. Uh, with this filter, you can barely, uh, you know, open it alone. So you see, we are opening it like uh, two people. But that is a result to, you know, when you're putting back these filters, you're not supposed to tighten them, okay? Using a wrench to, you know, to, to screw them back. It's wrong. You have to use hands, uh, such that in the next service, when you're opening, they are a bit easier, okay? If you use a wrench to tighten them, then you're going to have trouble. That's why you, you will see that you, you need, like, you need more than one person to open them. And that's sometimes dangerous if it refuses, sometimes it can break, and it can be very difficult to remove it. Then the other thing, you also saw how we changed the fuel filter, the pre-fuel filter. Now, the other thing you know, that before you put back these filters, you have to fill them. The oil filter, we fill them with oil first. The fuel filters, we fill them with the oil first. Now, this engine, the Penta Volvo, that we have serviced, it's a very big engine. And the, the fuel we use, we get it from the external tank. So the fuel come with the gravity. So we don't use an automatic pump like these are the small engine. You have to use a, a small pump to prime. Here we don't prime because it has a gravity. What you have to do is to fill uh, all the filters, the maximum. And then the moment you open the valves, uh, the rest of the air gap will be filled by that, by that gravity. Uh, OK? Yeah. Uh, basically that. Then uh, uh, there is a, uh, there is some kind of setting you you you, you can do. There is what they call uh, you know fuel delay uh, pressure. So you can set that. Sometimes it happens. It can they can be a delay. Maybe there is a small gap, but it catch up. But if you fill them to the maximum, sometimes those kind of problem they don't arise. Okay. So you saw the water separator as we you know. Uh, filled it and put it there. Then we changed the air filter, okay? So basically that's it. Then the other thing uh, also is after you do your service, you must wash that engine because now you'll have all spirage everywhere, fuel spirage, okay? So you cannot just wipe it. You have to wash it clean and you will get that video of how you wash this engine, okay? Hope this video has been of a great value and importance to you. Please, if you like what we show here, feel free to subscribe, like, and share, okay? So, until next time, I'm out.